So I thought I'd do a short video on a really cool piece of Trafford history and share some things about a site in Trafford that has long been forgotten. 2019 marked the 115th anniversary of Trafford and so the Trafford Historical Society installed the old Keystone Trafford sign at the corner of 5th and Britain Avenue. It's not the original location for that sign but instead we decided to put it on a spot that would overlook two important sites that were once developed by Westinghouse. The Trafford Foundry was the first site developed in 1903, but the location I want to talk about came along about 20 years later. It was the site responsible for many Westinghouse innovations and a place where their engineers could test the research and apply it to viable commercial applications. If you take a look at a Google map, the site was located between the present-day Stewart Station Road and the Norfolk Southern Tracks. It's just a small overgrown knob that you can see if you're standing on the Trafford Veterans Bridge. The building was the Trafford High Voltage Laboratory. Construction started in the fall of 1920 and the laboratory was completed in 1921. It was constructed of steel beams and had corrugated sheet metal on the outside and measured about 110 feet by 120 feet and it stood 50 feet tall. If you were standing in the backyard on Brenton Avenue, you could look across the railroad cut and see this two-story brick addition that was basically the office and the control room for the high voltage lab. In 1922, Westinghouse had this report that said, this laboratory will be devoted entirely to pioneer development work in connection with line insulation, lightning arresters, circuit breakers, and transformers for high voltages. We believe we have the best equipment in the country for carrying on such work. I read a newspaper article that appeared in November 1923 where seven train cars carried 450 engineers from Pittsburgh to Trafford where they held a meeting of the American Institute of Electrical Engineers. One of the key drawing points to this location was to witness this 1 million volt above ground testing transformer made by the Westinghouse engineers. In November 1923, Trafford received a visit by then Italian ambassador Galicio Caetani and he was accompanied by two of the Westinghouse executives. Another prominent visitor in the spring of 1924 was Dr. Edwin Rayner. He was the director of the electrical division for the National Physical Lab in Teddington, England. The other drawing card to this location was the 42-foot electrical arc that was produced by the engineers. So it must have been quite impressive to see considering that the building alone was 50 feet tall. The last experiment I'll mention that put this laboratory in the spotlight occurred in the 1940s. There was a young scientist named Dr. Gilbert McGann who joined Westinghouse in 1939 to study the natural lightning phenomena and perform various studies here at Trafford. This particular photo appeared in newspapers around the world. Today we would call it going viral but McGann is calmly sitting in this car that's being struck by three million volts of electricity. He was illustrating that steel autos were safe from lightning. Note the bolt of electricity traveling through the steel rims, jumping over the rubber tires and safely to the ground. By 1968, the construction of a new high voltage lab began, eventually making the tin shed obsolete. However, we can acknowledge the fact that the old lab was an important site in Trafford's history and served as a significant part in the history of Westinghouse achievements.